I bought this 15 year old camera and we're gonna see if I can make YouTube thumbnails with it. So here's the Canon SD1000. I'm gonna see if we can take a thumbnail for YouTube. Uh, I just have an overhead light shining down and then I have another light here hitting it from the side, nothing special. So go ahead and turn the camera on and see what we can do. Now I've done some things to this camera to modify it a little bit. So out of the box, this is not what you're gonna get, but uh, we're just gonna show you what this camera can do. Another one. I'll do from a different angle just a little bit here. I'm gonna do a little video here, um, just quick to see what we get. So let's take it to the computer and see what we got. All right, so these are the photos that I just took with the Canon SD1000. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's not that great of a photo. This part is in focus, this one isn't, but I'm not gonna get too technical here. I just wanna see what this will look like uh, as a thumbnail. So the first thing I wanna do is just straighten this out. Now again, I'm just doing this for fun, just to let you guys see that, you know, it really, you can really have fun with anything. You don't have to have a specific camera. I've said this many, many, many times on this channel, and I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of heavy, heavy editing on this. I'm just gonna do some quick stuff here. I'm not gonna really go over even my editing techniques. I'm just gonna throw something on here, just something that I think would fit a, a thumbnail if you're gonna actually do it. Would it would it be pleasing to the eye? Would it catch people's eye if they were to look at it? And would it make them wanna click? Is this camera capable is really the main thing that I'm trying to drive home here. And I'm gonna say yes, it's capable, even though this camera is really, really old. Cameras don't get crappy as time goes on. They just become outdated because newer technology comes and things like that. Okay, so now we are in Photoshop and let's just see what we can do here. I'm just do a couple things, nothing really serious. Again, we're just playing around just to see what we can do. So uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of questions like, um, what settings on the camera did I use and all those sort of things. Uh, it was just the automatic settings that were on there. I mean, I adjusted the ISO and that was what it was. But for the most part, I didn't, I didn't really change a lot of settings. I just let it be what it's going to be. And again, the key is not to overthink any of this stuff because it's really simple. Uh, it's, it really is. It, this is simple. You know, there's no need to go crazy with all of this stuff. The content and things like that will serve more than anything. He won't let me. I started YouTube a little over a year ago now and I never meant for this channel to be what it has become. And what I mean by that is I always wanted this channel to be a place where people can come and learn, share ideas about photography and videography. And I really was going to highlight the business side of it. but. As things kept going, I kind of felt pushed in a different direction and kind of just followed my gut with everything. Um, but as I look over my channel, I haven't posted in a couple months now. And for my subscribers out there, I apologize about that. I haven't been real clear on what's going on. There's been a lot of details in my life. I'm not gonna go over everything. I'm alive, I'm well, I'm good. Uh, but what I will say is, I have had a shift in my focus as far as this channel. During the two months that I was away, I've seen and learned a lot about YouTube as a whole, and specifically about this genre of videography and photography. 
And one of the things I see is just about every channel out there is the exact same channel. You could just replace the person who is leading the channel with another person and it's the same thing. The same gear, uh, everybody's selling the same stuff, everybody's saying the same things, everybody's trying to get the same type shot, everybody's talking about the same thing at the same time. And it's really boring. Like, I, I was really bored. I mentioned that this is true for the photography community, but it's not just the photography community. This is also the case with tech as a whole. When you look at iPhones and Androids, everybody's talking about the iPhone 14 right now. Everybody's doing the same reviews. Everybody's talking about the same things, the same colors, the same features. Should you get it? Should you upgrade? It's the same thing. The other thing that I realized is a lot of people are just consumers. I've said this before in other videos, but we're just looking for the next best thing, the next best thing. What's the next best? And I've already seen people complain about the i14 that hasn't even been out two weeks. And people are starting to get it and they're complaining about it. It doesn't have this, it doesn't do that. Oh, they said it would do this. I wish it was this, I wish it was that. And it's just like, we're never, are we ever going to get to a point to where we're content with what we have? I mean, we have great technology in front of us. I mean, we could do crazy stuff with what we have right now. We don't need anything more. Yet, we still, there's still people who want more. They want more technology. They want more access. They want faster. They want bigger. They want more light to be able to hit the sensor. They want a phone that could just do much more and they want it to be cheaper. And I'm just like, where does this, where does it end? The people who have YouTube channels, all they do is just gear reviews. They grow like crazy. They just grow. They talk about this camera versus this camera versus this camera versus this camera versus this light. But this, this. it's like, we're not getting any better with anything. We're just talking about gear. We're just acquiring and getting and getting and getting. But we're not giving. We're not putting information out. We're not putting content out. So all of that to say is this is really inspired me in a way uh, more than it has discouraged me to actually create meaningful content on this channel uh, things that people go through uh, in everyday life and talk about certain topics and things you know there's a lot of people out here who are depressed a lot of people who are sad a lot of people who are having a hard go at this life thing you know and they don't have money for the newest camera. They don't have money for the newest iPhone or the greatest this or the greatest that. They're just trying to get by with what they have. And it would be crazy for me to just talk about the newest things out there so that I can get views and I can grow and then I can get money and I can grow my channel. Sure, I want to grow my channel, but I want to grow it in a way that helps others as well while I'm growing it. I don't want it just to be about me and about the latest and greatest. That's why I'm shooting on this Canon SD-1000. This camera is old, it's 15 years old. It's not great at anything, really. It, 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 by today's standard, it sucks. But I just wanna get the message across through this camera that it doesn't matter what you have. It doesn't matter how crappy your camera is. It doesn't matter if it doesn't have all the latest autofocus, if it's not good on low, low light. Who cares? Grab a flashlight and shine it on your face if you have to. If you have something that can help people, whether it's a story, whether it's something that you went through that you overcame, share it. Who cares how crappy the quality is? Just, just put it out. And if it can help somebody, then great. I hope that's the case. But anyway, that was just a little rant. And it was also a test of this Canon SD-1000 camera. Like I said, this camera is really old. If you want to get one, you can get one on eBay. They're hard to find now because people are starting to go back into this realm of these ancient cameras or these nostalgic cameras. But you can find some on eBay and things like that. But even in that, don't get caught up in trying to find one of these on eBay because it looks cool or because another YouTuber has it. Just use whatever you have, even if it's an old flip phone. If it can do video, post it but that's my uh, rant for today and I know this video is kind of all over the place but that's basically what I want to say but until next time I'll holla at y'all later I'm out peace
This is the Canon SD1000, a point and shoot camera that came out in 2007. Now this camera came out just two years after YouTube started and it was around the time the classic song Chocolate Rain by Tayzana dropped onto YouTube and went viral. Now by today's standards, this isn't a super high quality camera. It has a 7.1 megapixel sensor, a 35 to 105 millimeter f2.8 zoom lens with additional digital zoom and autofocus. It also features a three inch LCD monitor and this camera also shoots video. 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second and 320 by 240 at 30 frames per second. It also features something called fast frame rate that shoots at 320 by 240 pixels at 60 frames per second. Now one of the limitations of this camera is that you can only shoot up to one hour of video at a time and only up to four gigabytes of video at a time before the camera will start recording. Now the camera uses a standard SD card to save photos and videos too. Now the SD1000 also features an interchangeable battery that lasts for about two to three hours in my experience on video and can last a few days just taking photos with no flash. Now speaking of flash, the Canon SD1000 also has a built-in flash for times when your scene is dark and it also creates that old 2000s nostalgic look.